If you liked Donald Trump's immigration policies over the past two years, you're gonna love what might be coming in the near future. Take a look at what they're considering. There was an initiative examined earlier this year. The Department of Homeland Security officials looked at housing migrant children at Guantanamo Bay, which has a dormitory facility that has been used in the past to hold asylum seekers. The proposal to house migrant children from the southwest border there has not gained traction, perhaps because of the optics of housing young people adjacent to terrorism suspects or in Cuba at all or abroad or whatever, the entire thing is horrendous. But this is what people voted for, not not the majority, but some. And uh, this is what we almost got. And uh, there have been policies in the past that we've found out about, and then they've denied them, and then they've gone into effect. It's possible that this one could cycle back around in a few months. It's the same. It's the same approach to everything else. Remember the whole proposal, which was BS and a bit of a deflection, was the sanctuary cities. Let's just send them to sanctuary cities without any thought of how that would work. If it makes any sense. It's all to say, hey, if we do this over the top thing, maybe those stupid libs will realize how stupid they are and they'll go on our direction. That's no way to run a country. That's no way to come up with any kind of actually concrete policy. So we're just gonna send children to Guantanamo Bay because then these bleeding heart liberals will go, oh, don't send them there. Hey, just send them back home then. We're on your side now. Where's the thought process? Nobody really believes that. It's it's a game in trying to show how brutal you can be and like I'm the American who's brutal and those guys are soft. They're so un-American. It's just a constant it's a constant PR battle and you think being an a-hole is the best way to go about it and that suddenly people will go on your side cuz we trust the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and by by the adjacency of the idea of Guantanamo Bay with prisoners being held also who have not been tried. So they're quote, they're called terrorism suspects, but they haven't been tried, they're waiting for a trial. So by that association, they're supposed to be criminalized in the process. And I think that's mm-hmm. part of the thought behind this, which is, you know, Trump has been trying aggressively to paint people coming from the southern border as dangerous to us. Yeah. And if they could figure out a way to make the rest of the nation believe that children are dangerous. This is also part of that PR scheme as well, yeah. is put them next to something we actually don't question. Like I said, we don't question who's at Guantanamo Bay. We think that they're yeah. imprisoned terrorists. We don't think of people who've been tortured and haven't been to trial yet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and all these policies, the ones that they put into effect, the ones that they consider but they don't actually do, just the how cruel they are, how barbarous they are, that advances their agenda. Because I think in a very real case, all of these, at least for a significant portion of the population, shifts the over to window on immigrants. It's like if you say we need to build a wall, then many people will believe, oh, I guess we must need a wall. If he says I'm deploying armed, armed troops to the border and I'm gonna loosen up the rules of engagement, then I guess they must be so dangerous we need to shoot them. If the kids belong in Guantanamo Bay, I guess they're as dangerous as terrorists. And many people will simply believe that it must be necessary because even if they're not like red hat wearing MAGA heads, they're inclined to support the president or whoever's in power. But this is also, I wanna turn back to, again, trying to criminalize children here and make them appear to be a threat to US military. Um, This is something we've done, or law enforcement, this is something we've done with uh, police who've killed black children, Mm -hmm. um, refused to call them teenagers or children, called them adults. That's the way that Michael Brown's murder was depicted. But also films like American Sniper, where a little kid, an Iraqi kid was potentially shooting something at the American Sniper, whatever, Chris Kyle's character. Um, how How can we, believe that this kid is a threat to the American military that's occupying this country. Somehow they've done such a brilliant job to convince us that children are threatening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the the, the guy that that stood on the the stage at the RNC and said, you know, only I can fix it, only I can protect you. Um, Like the people voting for him, a lot of them, a lot of them stupidly or naively believed that they needed to be protected, that the, the threat was such that they need to be protected and thought that he could actually do it, not knowing that they're just putting him in office for him and Fox News to spend the next few years scaring the hell out of them. We're doing so- nothing to actually fix the problem. Note, I think it's noteworthy that all of these cruel fixes for the problem don't actually solve the problem. They're right. cruelty it, for cruelty's sake. It had no deterrence. There's still record numbers of people trying to cross the border because we still haven't fixed the issues that they're crossing the border for. Yeah. yeah. Cruelty for cruelty's sake is the basis for how you convince enough people. From the beginning, of, again, we talked a little earlier about Robert E. Lee and slavery and the history in America and how the dehumanization of humans 
allows you to do things to them. So it carries on in this thing too. When immigrants come across the border, you're like, oh man, look what they're trying to do. The first thing this guy said before he was even elected, before he even launched his campaign, rapists, murderers, criminals, drug right. dealers. Absolutely. Yep. They're dehumanized. So now, when you see their children crying and being separated and snatched, you go, well, it's those, un it's those inhumane things faults. They shouldn't have brought those kids over in the first place. It's not my fault that I'm supporting this. It's their fault for making me support cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. Can, I, can I throw to a reading that I think people should do? Sylvia Winter is an amazing decolonial thinker. She's Jamaican. She wrote this article about the Rodney King trial because they said that there were no humans involved. So she went into detail of how somebody could come to this explanation of a brutal beating of a black man as no humans involved. Hmm. So new, no humans involved, Sylvia Winter, look for that. You'll understand what JR is talking about too. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.